Hey guys, this is Braden with ANC Heating and Air Conditioning. We're here in the warehouse today and we're going to give you a tour of our air duct cleaning truck, this big beautiful beast behind me. We're going to show you all the parts involved, how the process works, and why it's so important to get the ducts inside your home clean at a professional level. So come on, let's take a look. In this compartment here, we have our compressed air line. This can disperse up, up to 250 PSI air, depending on the application. We usually only tend to use that kind of pressure when we're doing metal duct work. In that case, we use a tool like this. This is called the tentacle whip. When air is dispersed through here, these tentacle whips move in all separate directions while at the same time pushing an air through while it's getting sucked up by the vacuum, which I'll show you guys here in a second. However, for more delicate applications, we have this tool right here. It's called the Dynaprobe. This can clean anything from dryer vents to flexible duct to duckboard. So whatever the application may be, we have the tool to clean it. There's no area too small that we can't get into, an area maybe that's hard to get access to. Whatever the application is, we will get the job done and at the highest of level. So let's move on to the vacuum. I'll show you guys that. All right, so in here, this is where we hook our vacuum up to. As I said earlier, whatever we're hitting inside the system with our compressed air, whether that be the tentacle whip or our Dynaprobe, depending on the application, it all gets pushed here and then stored in these side compartments here. What's nice about this truck is depending on how much hose we have to use or how big the house is, we can adjust the negative pressure as we see fit. So if it's a smaller house and we don't need as much negative pressure, we can adjust that. If it's a bigger sized house and we have to use more hose off the back, we can, like I said, we can adjust the pressure as needed. The combination of those air tools I showed you earlier, the compressed air and this negative pressure vacuum, anything that's festering down in those vents, whether it be dust, dander, debris, nothing really stands a chance of staying around. And you're not gonna get this kind of cleaning with a regular shop vac. So let's move along. So back here, we got our vacuum hoses. We carry about 150 feet of vacuum hose just in case we need it. There may be applications where we have to use more. And like I said earlier, if it's a longer run, we can use more pressure. If we have to use less hose, we can use less pressure. And as you can see, this ain't no shot vac. This is the big boy stuff. So let's keep moving. So up here, we got our vacuum suction bags. When we activate the truck and start the cleaning, all these are gonna inflate and help, help give us that negative pressure that's so greatly needed in order to do this at such a high level. You know how much pressure is used on a regular vacuum with just one bag. This truck has 12, so you can just, just to put that into perspective, how much power this truck has and how much suction power it has. So let's keep moving. And in here, we have the actual air compressor itself. It's as heavy duty as it gets. If someone doesn't have this kind of system that they're bringing to your house to clean your vents, they're not getting it done at the highest level possible. And that's what we're all about. So that was an in-depth look at this big, beautiful beast back here. We really wanted to show you guys what this thing is capable of when we pull up to a job and we're gonna perform a duct cleaning for you. What most people don't realize is that the ducts inside your home are the lungs of the entire house. So if those ducts are dirty, you're breathing in that dirty air day after day. That's gonna be all for today. Just so you guys know, this job sucks, but we love it. Hope to see you out there.